Hi everyone. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 tells us that we should be imitators of God just as beloved children. So did you realize something that many children who look up to their dads, they want to become like him when they grow up. They have that aspiration. For example, if a son of a fireman is asked what he wants to be when he grows up, maybe he'll reply, Oh, I want to be like my daddy, who is brave and strong and rescues people from fires. Or if you ask a son of a, a policeman, he may reply, I want to be like my daddy who catches bad guys and does justice. If you ask a daughter of a famous ballerina, she's, she may say, I want to be like my ma who dances beautifully and performs on world stages. So, they look up to their parents because they have a great opinion of them and they know that their parents love them. So, what am I driving at? I'm talking about our relationship with our Heavenly Abba Father. What is your opinion of our Heavenly Father? Do you see him as a stern, scary father who is out to scold you and punish you with every sin that you commit, whether purposely or unconsciously? Do you see him as not willing to forgive you and that you have to earn back your forgiveness with your own good works and right obedience? Or do you correctly see him as a loving father who embraces you and comforts you, trains you and prepares you for all the blessings that he has thought of beforehand for your life. Your opinion of your Heavenly Father will determine how much you are able to imitate God. Because you only want to imitate someone that you look up to. In fact, you will unconsciously not want to imitate God if you see him as a stern, scary God out to punish you. So how do we become imitators of God? First, we must see what the Heavenly Father is doing. But how do we do that when no one, apart from Jesus, has ever seen the Father in person? Well, um, Jesus himself said in the Gospel of John that he who has seen me has seen the Father and known the Father. So, from his words, we learn that Jesus' nature and Jesus' actions are perfectly in sync with the Heavenly Father. Jesus also said that he does nothing without first seeing what his Father is doing. So everything that Jesus did when he walked on earth was first commanded to Jesus by the Heavenly Father before he did it. So through seeing Jesus in the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, we actually can see the nature of our Heavenly Father and his heart of love and his heart to bless us. So when you read the four Gospels, be conscious of this fact that looking at Jesus and what he's doing is as good as seeing the Heavenly Father himself because Jesus walked in such close communion with the Heavenly Father that they were one. They were perfectly in sync, right? So when you see Jesus healing the multitudes, casting demons out, raising the dead, blessing people, standing with sinners and forgiving their sins, and ultimately, of course, his greatest act of love for us, which was dying at the cross for us, out of love for mankind. All that was first commanded by the Father and it reveals his heart of love for us. Feed on the Father's love and know that you are a beloved child of God. The more you see yourself as a beloved child of God, loved by the Father, the more you will walk in victory and in, imita in imitation of God's actions. The word says in Genesis that we were created in God's image. You see, a creation does not fulfill its full potential and purpose unless it's doing what it was created to do. So we were created to partake of the divine nature. 
just like our Heavenly Abba Father. So it's only when we walk like Him and act like Him, have dominion on earth over all creation as we were created to, to do so righteously, then only will we fulfill our God-given purpose on this earth. Right? An eagle who thinks that it wants to be like a fish to swim really well in the ocean, it won't be fulfilling its true purpose. A griffin vulture that flies highest in the sky, higher than all other birds, if it tries to dedicate its life to swimming, it will never realize that it's born to fly higher than all birds. So you are created to partake of God's very own nature of holiness, righteousness, and to have dominion over all created things on earth. Step into your God-given purpose. When you feed on the Father's love, you will be supernaturally transformed as you behold Jesus and the Father in the four Gospels and in the whole of God's Word. Have a very blessed day ahead. Do share with me in the comments below what topic you'd like me to talk about next. Alright? Hope you were blessed by the message and have a blessed day. Bye.